This example can confuse most developers in JavaScript interviews. Do you know what happens here? Comment your answers below. And the correct one is D. Let's go step by step together. When this code runs, the first line is a simple console log that prints A immediately because it is synchronous and runs right away. After that, JavaScript continues to execute any remaining synchronous code, skipping over the asynchronous lines for now. The next synchronous line prints E. Once all synchronous code finishes, JavaScript moves on to handle asynchronous tasks, where micro tasks have higher priority than macro tasks. Promises schedule their callbacks as micro tasks, while set timeout callbacks are macro Micro tasks. JavaScript first executes the micro tasks it finds, which includes the promise that prints D. Another promise schedules a set timeout to print B, which is a macro task and therefore runs later. The standalone set timeout that prints C is also a macro task, so both C and B run after all micro tasks complete. Because macro tasks run in order, C is printed before B. In the end, the output order is A, E, D, C, and finally B, illustrating how synchronous code runs first, followed by micro tasks, and then macro tasks according to JavaScript's event loop priorities. Don't forget to join our Discord server through the link in bio and follow for more JavaScript concepts.